Hi! So today I am doing a video on how to save your images in a way that I have come to learn has been the best way to save my images. I had saw a photographer make a post about using Miller's and she wasn't happy. Her images were coming back with this greenish tint. The skin tone looked green and she compared it to the actual original image and it was nothing like that. Um, I actually used to run into the same exact issue and I do use Miller's. I'm not promoting them or anything. I just, it is my personal choice. I do love them. Um, but I was running into that same problem and I couldn't figure out what was going on and I automatically first wanted to blame them. But then I was like, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong because so many other people are getting great images and printing exactly as they should. So after seriously, I was at least eight months of research, just could not figure it out. It was so stressful. I just study it and research and research and watch so many YouTube videos and I could not find anything out there that explained what I am fixing to explain to you. It's so, so simple and it's such an easy fix. I don't save any other way other than this. I used to be saving in two different files. I would save for a like Facebook file for um, the web and I would have another one for printing because sometimes, you know, you would save them differently, different pixels and things like that. Actually, when I do this, I only save once. I only have one image saved. I can blow it up into any size and the picture still prints beautifully. I can put it on social media, Facebook, Instagram. It doesn't matter. It's still in my website. They still look exactly as they should. So this has saved me so much time and I hope that it can save everybody else time as well. So this is one of my pictures of my son that I had finished up. Just stick my watermark there. It's right. Oh, or not. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do this. Um, you go to edit. Everything just doesn't always work out perfectly, does it? Come down to convert to profile. Now this is this is where it stopped my pictures from turning green or maybe turning orange. I actually had some that printed extremely orange, but the most part I was getting green skin tones. It was not pleasant. I really have no idea what any of this is. I've never messed with any of these options, but this is what it on my computer, my Photoshop shop actually just automatically saves all this like this but here is a whole bunch of different options i have no idea what any of these do not a clue all i know is i found this one right here the working rg rgb srgb i select it and i push ok which it flattens all your edits over here on the slide yeah, I figured that's what I could put my watermark now. So this image now has been saved like that. And the next step I do for saving is image, image size. And I always save in 8 by 10, 300 DPI. Always save in 300 DPI. Okay, this image is ready. And all I do is save it as all these pictures of my son as a jpeg and here i save it as a 12 maximum baseline standard okay and that's it this image is done so if you guys have any questions, anything that maybe you have issues with, um, I haven't been doing photography very long. I've been doing it for a couple of years. I am completely self-taught. I, I have learned so much. So if there is any questions, please post them below in the comments and subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing lots of these. I'm going to try to make them short and simple. Thank you for watching.